Coach, you're nothing if not passionate. You're still crying right now. Yeah. Why? I'm happy for our team in the great state of Louisiana. it has been eight years coming, man. And our team works so hard, and our coaching staff works so hard. And the whole state of Louisiana deserves this win. Our great, our great university at LSU. Why this much emotion, Coach? Well, it's such a big game. They beat us for eight years. We got tired of hearing their stuff, man. I mean, it was time. I told the team tonight, we draw the line. We had enough. Here we come. How would you describe what Joe Burrow did in this game? He's a champ, man. He's a champ. And he missed some throws in the, in the third and the fourth quarter, but he came back, had the winning drive. He knew he was going to do it. Give great credit to Steve Ensminger. I thought he called, called a great job today. What is this team capable of, Coach? We'll find out. We've got to beat Ole Miss next week. <laughs> Finally, you've said for such a long time, this was the job ultimately you yes. thought you were yes. meant to have. Yes. Why, Ed? Because I know, I know what Louisiana needs. I know what to recruit at LSU. I know how to get the right coaching staff. But you know what? i got to thank God. God has put me down in here, and I thank him, and I Amen. praise him the most. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of our football team, man, the way they fought. And uh, give credit to Alabama, man. They came back. They're a championship football team. But we knew we was going to win that game today. We started off Monday knowing we are going to win this game. Congratulations, Ed. Go Tigers. Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers come into Tuscaloosa and win. How would you describe the performance? You know, we hit some bumps along the, along the way in this game. But I'm, I'm so proud of the way we battled. You know, we, we, we started off strong. Defense played. I think the best game of the year. And it just shows all the hard work we've been putting in. 31 of 39, 393, and three touchdowns. That's quite a performance, young man. What about your, per your, your performance personally? I got great people around me, great coaching staff, great receivers, great O-line that have been battling all, all summer, all spring, you know, for, for moments like these. You know, I got great people around me, and that's why I've been able to be so successful. I know that coming into this game, you guys heard eight in a row, been a long time since LSU won. What do you think it means to the Baton Rouge and LSU community that you come in here and get this win? You know, I think it means a lot for the whole state of Louisiana and, and that whole area of the country. But you know, this was never our goal. We got bigger goals than this that we've been working for. So this is this is just another another bump in the road that we passed. So we got bigger goals ahead of us. Joe, what's this team ceiling? going to be as good as we want to be. If, if we if we don't get complacent after this win, we come back to practice, keep going strong, we can we can get there. A great win for our team. Obviously a very happy locker room in there. Been a long time coming. We are fat all, we felt all week that we were the better football team. Uh, we said it to our team on Monday, we're the better football team, but we're going to have to go ahead and prove it. We proved it today. Uh, there are some things that we did very well today. There's some things that we obviously can get better at. And obviously, when we get up ahead, we have to have a killer instinct. But, you know, give them some credit. Uh, they know how to play football. Uh, very proud of our football team. All, all the guys put in put in a lot of hard work. Our coaching staff put in a lot of hard work to get where we're at today. Uh, Joe Burrow, again, a fantastic night. We had 559 yards of total offense, 166 yards rushing. When's the last time that happened against us in Alabama? I don't know. 393 passing. Clyde, what you said by Clyde, 103 yards in that last um, first down to seal the game. That victory formation looked very, very nice. Um, our team is happy. We're going to protect the team tonight, uh, get rested tomorrow, get well. We've got a lot of guys banged up. There's a physical fight out there and on the Ole Miss. Any questions? Yeah, yeah. A couple years ago, you said, yeah. Are you there yet? yeah, we're there tonight for sure. Now, I, you know, we got to see. we got to see where, where this leads us. Uh, we took a big step in beating Alabama, obviously, tonight. Uh, I knew we were, we were a better team. I didn't think we were out physical at all. I thought we could handle them physically. Uh, now, they made some plays. We made some plays. But I think we're right there where we need to be. Yeah, we needed it. We needed those offenses. We, I asked the guys, you know, they were throwing the football. I said, can we run it just a little bit, please? And, it's, uh, and uh, we are ahead. And, uh, so we ran the clock out a little bit, but then a little zone read by Joe Burrow and put the ball in his hands. He's going to make plays. And Clyde Edwards Alaire, great night. Was that a high school performance by your quarterback tonight? I think it is. Well, I, don't, I don't vote, but if I get a vote, I'm going to give it to him. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? When I felt, when I got on the plane coming here, I felt like, you know what? We got it. 
we finally got the tools that we need. We finally got the players that we need. We finally got the coaching staff that we need to beat these guys. I, I told that to Steve Ensminger sitting on the side of him. I told that to Greg McMahon. And I feel with the combination of going to the spread offense, keeping Dave Aranda, Steve Ensminger, Joe Brady, Greg McMahon, and obviously the recruiting, those great receivers that we had in our defense have gotten better. So, and then, then you know, I think Joe Burrow, you know, just to have a championship team, you need to have a championship quarterback. So I felt like we had it. And obviously I knew we had to do it, but we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Just what do you feel you are now to have come here Yeah. Yeah, it's never going to be about me. I'm so happy for that team right there and that coach and staff in the state of Louisiana. Hell, I might be able to go to the 7-Eleven now and, and get me a, a, a monster, a Red Bull, and and they will have to tell me, hey, Coach O, you got to beat those guys, you know. I'm going to tell them I'll beat them. I'll beat them. You watch the, watch the game. <laughs> What's that? I think it's phenomenal. We had a lot of recruits at the game tonight. Uh, I texted them. They called me. Uh, I think a lot of them are wearing their purple and gold socks uh, tonight. And I think there are a lot of um, guys that want to come and be a part of our great football team. They want to get coached. They want to get developed. Uh, we have a couple of spots left, and I feel like we're going to get some great players in those spots. What did you tell your team at halftime to keep the edge? Keep going. Keep going. 60 minutes. I mean, 60 minutes, and look, look, we knew we was going to have to make plays. We felt this was going to be a 60-minute game. Nothing's easy when you're going to play a team like this uh, that hasn't lost here in a long time, I imagine. Uh, but, you know, we, we knew we was going to have to make the plays down the road. What did you see from What's that? The defensive line, Rashard yeah. Lawrence, yeah. leaders there. Every team, what did you see from Yeah, you know, uh, you know, in recruiting, Rashard Lawrence and I talked about this. And uh, they didn't want to be the only senior class. Devin and I beat this team. And uh, there was a lot of motivation. Rashard did a great job of leadership. So did Kill kill him on chess on. I thought Tyler Shelman played strong in the middle. But that's what it takes when you come play a team like this. Was there ever a time you felt it slipping away? Yeah, you know, they started, yeah, they started coming back. <laughs> you know, it started coming back. And there, there was a little seven route right there that, we, that, that Joe missed. It would have been a touchdown. You know, and, you know, obviously the sack fumble, there was a couple plays that we missed. We just feel like we just kept, couldn't put them away, couldn't put them away. And Tua got hot, and, you know, they started beating us one-on-one, made some big plays. But, you know, I always thought that we was going to win the football game. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.